Agege in Lagos has become a massive construction site with a number of houses demolished and many more already marked for demolition. Now, this is to pave way for the rail and road construction there. Well, the affected residents express their concerns over this exercise. Stay with us. The presence of a reliable and efficient transport system, like railways, play a leading role in the economic development of a country. In 2017, the federal government began plans to modernize rail lines through states across the country, Lagos being one of them. But one of the challenges of achieving this project is securing the railroad right of way, which has extended onto private property. <laughs> The reason some residents in Agege area of Lagos State gather at their local government to protest against the planned demolition of their property. We are not averse to development. We are not against development. But to site on our property, and we are not, we have not built our houses on acquired or acquisition land or another, or either uh, or railway land or something. If this house is a freehold land which belongs to individuals and is, you know, people, so, so many of us will not even know the, 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 the originators of those areas, you know, inheritances and all the rest. But we are saying and we are appealing that the federal government should go and relocate that, the situation of that uh, modern uh, terminal to another area. All I want is that they should leave those properties for us. They should not take our properties from us at all. So whether, whether they want to compensate or what, whatever they want to say, we are not interested. That is my own. We are not interested in anything. Leave our property. These things have been there. I was 12 years old when, when that building was built. So calculate back. That was 1967. So calculate how old I am now. After about two hours of wait, the officials arrive. and representatives of the Nigerian Railway Corporation. No problem. If you say no, let's see how they will see less to But the people are not pleased with the responses they are given. For the chairman of Agege local government, nobody can stand in the way of development. Public interest override uh, personal uh, interest. If the place is uh, has been I marked by the uh, by the government for public consumption. I have no right as an individual to stop them. That's not the first time such thing will happen. I I lived on Market Street in Saloja about a, a year and some months ago. Uh, it, uh, what's the construction uh, going on there that affected my own personal house? that have to give way for right of way for construction of the streets. Definitely we have to accept. These marked buildings on Yisa Street, CAC Street, Shiaba Street are all to be pulled down in the plan to build a railway terminal. <laughs> Even this market is not spared. The residents say they want development but not at the expense of their property and livelihoods. We saw these people that came that want to demolish our house. Then they didn't uh, give us any sign of uh, demolition of house. They didn't give us any paper. They just come and write the number and say they want to demolish our house. That's our complaint. But the only thing we need that we know that the place they are doing all that kind of things, they are doing it in the far area, not inside the town. When we carry out our investigation, we invited the railway and the valuers. The valuers, first of all, came without inviting them. 
And before carrying out this uh, exercise of numbering the house for demolition, there was no notice, no any information. We just saw them. At the end of the day, we had meeting with them. At that meeting, we told them that we don't want demolition. Because by the time they carry out this project, it will affect almost about 500 houses. It will affect almost about 500 houses. And inhabitants that are living in these 500 houses, they are up to more than a million. So in the light of this, we vote for this present government for development, not for demolition. Among the uh, buildings that will be affected, we have mosques, churches, schools, clinics, even at some shopping complex. So we are the one people to be carrying out their business. This is going to involve massive demolition. A massive demolition will deny us our fourth right to perform our civic right. I was born here in Nagege. I schooled in Nagege. I did so many things in Nagege. So where do they want us to claim after sending us out of our, for out of this place? As it stands, the property of these residents hang in a balance with a very slim hope for compensation. This no doubt will continue to generate heat until the fears of the affected are laid by the relevant authorities. You can always be part of Eyewitness Report by recording and reporting event as they break around you with your camera and then send to our Eyewitness portal. Just ensure you download the Channels TV app if you don't have already, launch and swipe to reveal the Eyewitness menu and follow instructions on how to upload your stories. We we'll welcome stories on innovation, self-help project, communal efforts at infrastructure development and much more. One more thing, always add locations and form of contact such as phone numbers or email, so we can get in touch with you and follow up on your story. Now let's see what you already uploaded for the week. Let's begin with this picture from the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, showing the aftermath of a gas explosion that occurred in Zuba area. Our eyewitness reporter who sent this in says the incident which occurred in a gas refill station claimed the lives of two persons and injured many. From Mina, the Niger State capital, comes this set of pictures showing people whom our eyewitness reporter identifies as students of a secondary school during an excursion to a nail producing company. According to him, the practice of taking students out on excursion reinforces whatever they are taught in the classroom, and he wants it encouraged. Back here in Lagos, we have this set of images from Amuo in Oriade Loku Council Development Area, showing this piece of land, which our eyewitness reporter says is used as a collection site for condemned materials, especially the ones that are taken for recycling. Our eyewitness reporter is worried by the location, which he says is bringing on chilled hardship on other residents because of the noise pollution as well as the stench coming from the site. He wants the Lagos State Ministry of Environment to check this. This next image is from Ikorodu area of Lagos State, showing a demolition which occurred in Lagoon View Estate, Ibeche. Our eyewitness reporter claims the act was done by an individual who is neither a government official nor working with any constituted authority, but one who just wants to grab their lands for himself. Still on demolition is this picture from a Nibongo local government area of Lagos, showing what our eyewitness reporter calls an illegal destruction. He says the incident happened from Adeniji Street to Baconson Street, Oregon. Next is this picture of a refuse heap in Lagos Island. Our eyewitness reporter wants the refuse collecting agency to do more in keeping the environment clean. We end with this video showing residents of M2 Royal Garden Estate in Surulere in Lagos State allegedly being evicted from their homes. Our eyewitness reporter claims that the eviction was hastily done without due and appropriate notices. He wants the concerned authorities to look into the issue of kangaroo judgment in the state. 
Those are your short. Please keep them coming. You may also want to visit our YouTube and other social media pages to view previous editions or hint us on developments of stories already treated on this platform. Thank you for staying tuned. Till next week, I'm Chris Alems, and I'll keep my eyes on you. Bye-bye.